Hi everyone, today is going to be my foundation routine, so I'm so glad you clicked to watch this video and let's get into all of this foundation y'all. So first, you already know I'm going to take my Becca Ever Matte and Poreless Primer and I'm going to put it right on my pores. This is right by my nose, mainly the C-zone, the forehead, chin, and above the lip and sides of the lip. I get so oily y'all, I have to use this stuff. It's a must. And of course I'm going to rub that all the way in and then I'm going to end up tapping it in because I really need to get it in there because of those pores, I'm telling you. Okay, now this is the Hourglass Bell Minimal Primer. I just started using this primer and I love it so much when you rub it in, it leaves like a silicone like surface over the skin it just makes everything so smooth and your foundation just looks so nicely blended over this stuff i really like it and i will be buying the big one of this i only have the little sample i'm just trying and the tried and true the benefit poreless primer is so amazing it leaves a white cast but <laughs> I really don't mind as long as I have my foundation, which is the Milani foundation. Now, this is the two in one foundation that came out not too long ago, but it was kind of a long time ago. Um, I used two shades because they are foundation and concealer. This foundation shade I'm putting on now is the shade Golden Toffee. So, that's what I use for my foundation shade, and you'll see that it blends out really nicely, especially over these primers. It has a really nice coverage. Yes, it has a really nice coverage. I really love it. And so for the concealer, I'm going to take the shade Chestnut, which is a little lighter. Of course, on my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, I'm going to put it under the eye, forehead, above the lip, and chin. And for under the eye, you'll see that I leave it under the eye for the last part to blend out. Um, because if you leave it there, you let it dry a little bit, it leaves more coverage there. So I'm going to start with the forehead and go so on and leave the under eye for the last to blend out. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I do start at the bottom of my concealer under my eye and work my way up to the top of the eye. I just want to make sure that I get it really blended out around those edges and when I get up to the top, I want to put a good amount of coverage, but I don't want to have too much concealer because it can't get caked up under there and I do have a few fine lines right up under my eye. So I just make sure that I get it nice and blended out and of course those eyelids because mine are actually darker than my face. Now for contour, this is interesting. I use a Ruby Kisses lipstick called Misty Cinnamon. And I just can't seem to find a really dark shade for contour. So I found this lipstick and I just haven't been using it ever since. I just have to make sure I set it really nicely because it can't get shiny. But I'm using a really dense brush and I got this brush set from Amazon. Everyone should have this, I'm telling you. So I just use that to blend it out really dense. It blends it out really nice. And I make sure I get it nice and blended. You don't want harsh lines between your contour and concealer. And I'm gonna go into setting my y'all. <laughs> I love this powder so much. This is the Laura Mercier powder, but this is the deep shade. Laura knew what she was. Laura called. She had to have read my diary and said we need a darker powder because this is my favorite powder. I am never gonna be a victim of flashback or anything ever again in my life. I will always use this powder. Go ahead and start getting tired of it. I'm always gonna use this powder. I'm always gonna use this powder. I'm always going to use this powder. It's so amazing. I already love the Secret Brightening Translucent one, the lighter shade. But this right here, I just feel like it doesn't matter how much I put on, it's going to be great. Because this, the shade is perfect for me. Laura. Shout out to Laura. Now, 
Now, for bronzing, I use, this is interesting too, I use the Coca Mocha Lintel Palette from Morphe. And this is the second to darkest shade. And I actually use this to set my contour and um, bronze up my skin. It's a nice warm shade and it sets that Ruby Kisses lipstick really good. So I use it right over it. And it has a nice shade to it. It's just really nice. And I'm glad I discovered it. And if they sold this in singles, I would be all over it because it's really good for bronzing for me. Okay, and to cut the cheek, I call this cutting the cheek. I use this elf brush and it's really thin. It's a contour brush, but I use it just to cut it right above the ear. I take some powder and I put it right up under that contour just to cut that cheek. I feel like I really need more form in my face sometimes. So I use it to cut the cheek so I have a nice form. And it's so good for it, y'all. I just bake right under there for like literally not even a minute. Look at that. Great. And so then I just brush it away using a clean brush. Okay, and to add just a little color on the cheeks, I used a couple for Emily bronzer. It is a bronzer, but I used it kind of like just to add color. Not even blush because I'm not really a blush girl, but it has a red tint to it, so I just put it just to add some color to the cheeks. And of course, for a highlight, I'm going to use Candyman by ColourPop. I love this highlight. It's so good. And I use a really small brush for this. I used to use a fan brush, but it's just too much for me. I had to get more defined, and I'm really specific about where my highlight goes, especially when it comes to my face shape. So, I use this brush, and I blend it out profusely. I just have to make sure it's really blended. Um, of course, on the bridge of the nose, highlight of the brow, arch of the brow, and on the high part of the cheekbones and the cupid's bow. And for setting spray, I'm using my LA Girl setting spray. As always, I'm going to put some Fairy Floss lipstick, lip gloss on by ColourPop. I'm going to pop on some lashes. These are 615s by Salon Perfect and some Demi Lipsby's by Salon Perfect. And that is the final look. I'm so glad y'all tuned in for this foundation routine. It was really requested. I'm so glad y'all stayed and watched. And if you want to see more, like this video, subscribe. Tell me what you want to see in the comments below. And please stay tuned. I will be uploading. I'm so glad y'all clicked to watch this video. I really appreciate it. And you guys have a good day or night. And I will see you guys in my next video. Do you even care about me right now? Your hair is really on its last leg, but you just want to try anyway. <laughs> Do you care about me?